Hello, Eva here with Eva Loving Arts, and today I will be showing you how to pour a background. So the first thing you want to do is make sure your canvas is level and prop it up on something so it's not laying down on your desk. And next I will be mixing my Vivid Ultra Metallics with water. You don't want it too thick and not too runny, so just try to find a good consistency. I'm using the colors Red Poinsettia, Ginger Peach, and Periwinkle. And the white I'm using is just a craft white paint, so mixed with water. So I'm getting my paints ready here, and you'll want to make sure they're mixed very well. And then we'll start the pouring. Now I'm sure you've seen the videos that Leslie O, the inventor of Color Up Products, has been doing lately, and so she has inspired me to do some pouring as well. And she actually mixes some of her paints with different products that will create cells, and I didn't have any polyurethane or silicone or other products that create cells, so this is just strictly the Vivid Ultra Metallics and water. But it still creates a pretty neat effect. Once you've made your bullseyes, you'll want to run your finger or the back of a brush through the paint just a few times, and then pick up your canvas and help that paint move around and get to the corners and the sides until you're happy with what you see. And then lay it back down on your level surface and let it dry. Now if you have any paint left then you can shake it out onto the canvas and get some little spots as I'm doing here and then of course let it dry. The Color Art Spring Hop is a giveaway hop utilizing products from ColorArt.com. The winner from each participating channel will win a six-piece silk sampler set, like the one I will be showing you here shortly. Comments are considered automatic entries for the giveaway. Go to the video description box and click on Show More to see complete contest rules. Then click on the first link in the description box to travel to the next artist. And here's that silk sampler set that you can see laying there on the side. This is a fruit punch, but there are other sets as well. So first I'm going to stick down my focal image with some acrylic medium. This is a gloss varnish and medium. And I'm going to increase the depth of my image by using the silk's acrylic glazes. And here is the autumn leaf that I will color the branch with. And then the chestnut brown for the legs and parts of the feathers on the bird. Next is the sapphire on ice, which is a nice deep blue. And then the Mediterranean blue, which is more of a mid-tone to lighter blue and then I'll put in some key lime and those three colors do come in the fruit punch set these other colors are separate colors this is the black ice and then the African Jade As you can see, I've got quite a few bumps on that bird, so I decided to use pouring medium as my varnish, if you will, and just putting a coat of the Liquitex pouring medium directly onto the canvas. I'll do two coats, and that will make it nice and shiny and smooth, 
and that's it so thanks for watching and make sure to leave a comment below to enter the giveaway and click on the first link in the description to move to on to the next video in the hop uh, leave me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already thanks so much bye bye